help Biafra. This is Biafra Liberation Army Network coming to you again. Please do subscribe, like, share, and comment. So a human being being sliced into two. Can you imagine such a thing? Biafra is going to emerge as a nation. You know, despite the support of Britain, Russia, Egypt, and some other friends of Nigeria, we all will surely come out as a nation because we're fighting a just cause. Even a little child on the street will tell you this. We shall never go back to Nigeria again. God's grace will surely emerge as a nation. And so as far as this war continues, We'll fight to the last man. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic Government in Exile, His Excellency, Mazi Epa Simon and Joko. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh... Uh, the media team, uh, government officials, ministers, cabinet members, the entire Biafra people and the lovers of Biafra, I welcome you all people today. As you all know, we are at war. And at the same time, it's our responsibility as a government to protect our people, our women and children. Entire Nigeria has been ravaged with terrorist attack. The upsurge of the terrorists all over Nigeria is a thing of concern. We will continue to provide adequate support to the Biafra Liberation Army. We will continue to provide arms and ammunition to make sure that the, the presence of Biafra Liberation Army is felt and very effective all over Biafra land. I watched a video of the recent attack by the terrorists being aided and abetted by the Nigeria terrorist state somewhere in Benue state, in Kaduna state, in Adamawa state, in Katsina state, and many parts of Northern Nigeria. It breaks my heart because these people that are getting killed are women and children. These attacks must be condemned, not just only condemning them, but also actions must follow. We in Biafra land and the Biafra government, we are also battling these terrorists coming in the name of Nigeria Army, Nigeria Police, DSS, and what have you. And we continue to engage them for that reason, our resources are limited to extending it to other parts of indigenous nationalities within Nigeria, except at the current and the present time when we have alliance with the, with the Middle Belt. The Middle Belt Alliance, we announced a few weeks ago, and ever since then, we have been on top of this particular game, making sure that that particular defense in the Middle Belt will be activated as soon as possible. And in the coming days or weeks, we will get to that particular point where the activities of the Biafra Liberation Army in collaboration with the Middle Belt will be felt by the enemy. I welcome all of you to this evening donation and fundraising. Remember, Biafra Liberation Army is the only hope you have. We have also seen in recent days the propaganda that the enemies of the, our freedom has been piloting and pushing to the social media. The propaganda of Mora Valley, ESN, according to how they call it, invented. I really do not want to respond to those videos and many of the things that they have displayed on social media as it has nothing to do with us. And I said any day they mention Biafra Liberation Army, that's when I am going to address them. So far, so good. Such thing has not happened. But you can see that many of the people posting to social media are saying 
Simonet Park criminals have been busted, the camp has been destroyed, and what have you. But the same people have told their gullible followers how Simon Ekpa is the enemy, is the agent of Nigeria government. The same people are now sharing a video of the of the terrorist burning tent in the bush and telling you they have invaded the ESN Mother, Mother Valley, according to them. These are the people who also tell you how Simon Ekpa and his criminal, according to how they call it, are working for the Nigeria government. The same Nigeria government now, they are promoting the propaganda video they are sharing on social media. And I challenge them, if they claim to have attacked the Mother Valley and succeeded, can they go back there and make videos? Because if you have attacked the valley, and according to you, you've made a video of tent that, we, that were burnt, can you go back there and occupy it? Go back there and occupy the place you have conquered and burnt tent. But you know, I'll leave it because they know what they are going through and they know the reality and they know the truth. Those enemies within, you can never see them again. Thank you. Hey, may God bless Biafra and may God bless His Excellency Oyendo Mazenam the Kano. May God bless, may God bless, may God bless the Prime Minister, His Excellency. ESN, Epa, Simon and Joko, for the great job Simon is doing. Simon, we want to say we thank you, we appreciate you, we love you because we know in your hands Biafra is coming, in your hands Biafra is safe, and in your hands when Biafra comes, the people of Biafra will rejoice. My fellow Biafrans, today is a good one. We have heard from the dragon where he said Biafrans will not die again. Go and vote. Our freedom is here. The days they used to kill us, the days the zoo government, they are zoo full and military and the rest of them, they shoot us, they maim us, they burn our houses, our buildings, they shoot our children with their intense time coming out for the whole world to see in order to put a fear in the mother, in the family, in the community. Those days are gone, my people. The only way we can stop those days is for us to vote. Go and vote for, li for your liberation, Abeg. Adebeguna. When you vote for your liberation, it means you now have your destiny in your hands. In the self-referendum, once we vote, say, okay, enough is enough. We are saying we are tired of dying. We are sick and tired of being sick and tired of that zoo called Nigeria. When we say we are tired, we are tired, tired, tired. It means the world will listen to us. And the zoo government, they will know the game has changed. The game don't change. The music don't change, my prime minister. I want you all to listen. Because you see, when we say this thing, sometimes you guys don't get it. I want us to go and vote. Because now you will hear what is happening in Plateau State. Very, very sad. You will hear what is still happening in Magu Plateau State as we speak because they still believe in Nigeria. They still call on the Nigerian government. They call on the Nigerian, you know, governors. They call on the senators. They call on the Nigerian military to come and save them. That's the biggest mistake they are making. Today, Unago hear from Magu Plateau State what is still happening. Very, very, very sad, my people. We must wake up from our slumber. The days of behaving like children, those days are gone. The days of crying to those who are your oppressors, those days are gone, my people. This voting will help us. But now, make we listen to an eyewitness account. Message straight from the zoo. Hear the way people of Plateau, they are crying. Hear the way they cry. If we keep on keeping quiet, it will turn to us in the land of Biafra. And when it comes to us, there will be no mercy. I keep saying it. The zoo, they hate us with their passion. And when the cabal and their headsmen take over the land of Biafra, there will be no mercy. No, oh my God. There will be no sympathy from the media. They will not show it. Obibo was massacred, just like what happened in Plateau in Magu. Obibo, oh my God, the heart of the Ibos in the so-called Potakot, you know, River State, it was massacred. They did not show it in that zoo media. 
People were being killed. People were being burned alive. Heads were chopped off. In the name of Wiki, Wiki did what he did, and the Zoom media did not show it. When it comes to the Biafrans, they don't show it. Very, very sad. But right now, make we watch what is happening in Blatu states. Because you zoo people, you know, the zoo, they they are only reactionary. When there's something on TV, hey, it's bad, though. hey, God, oh, God, oh, they call on God. And the next two few days, they stop thinking about it again. Now they are watching football, super eagles. The zoo, now they are watching super eagles. They have forgotten about the killing, the pillaging of the land, the headsmen going into your town. They have forgotten about it. They are saying, up super eagles. But for you who are saying up super egos, there is fire on the mountain. I keep crying. I keep shouting from the mountain top. There is fire on the mountain. Make Ona here plateau state. What is still happening in Magu? You are enjoying your football. You are enjoying your soccer. But guess what? People in Magu, they are still crying. They are still in tears. Make Ona here when they come. Listen, watch what is happening in Magu, and this will blow your mind. Listen. For Laura Johanna, life has become very hard since they renewed the tax on her community in Mangu local government. For a family whose major occupation is agriculture, they are now unable to feed themselves. We don't have any place to go and farm again. We cannot go to our farms. If we go to our farms, we start to us. We matches. We comes. We cannot do anything. For the members... Listen, this happened just yesterday. This woman, she is crying. A resident from Magu, she is crying here. Say, we cannot go back to our farms. We cannot go back to our place. Whenever we go to the farms, they come with machets. Oh my God, have mercy. They machet them. They chase them. Hear the voice from this, our sister here. Plateau State. You all saw what happened in Christmas, and now you are watching Super Eagles. You are pretending as if the problem has solved. But what they did was the first phase. They come with their headsmen, their Boko Haram, their Iswap. They come with the first phase to kill, pillage, and put fear in your body. Now, the moment you run, they will then send their headsmen into your communities to take over your land and rename your land. What a sacrilege. And as you all know, when you are into business, if you are into farming, you must go to your farm to till the soil, you know, to weed out the soil, you know, and to get your harvest from the farm. For you to go to your farm to even get some few crops when you go chop as breakfast, as lunch or dinner, they will chase you with their matches, they will chase you with their guns, and you will run away. Before you know it, your farm is gone. This is what this girl, she's crying now. Because in Plateau, they don't have what you call a supermarket they don't have what they call a grocery store where you go and buy do your shopping every day under america those in america and europe every weekend you go do your shopping in plateau in some communities they don't have shopping your farm is your shopping your farm is your kfc yours oh my god you guys don't listen Hi, my Lord and my God, have mercy, have mercy. Me could not hear this woman in the pain person where we're because in those communities, they don't have takeaway. They don't have fast food. They don't have McDonald's, KFC. They don't have a grocery store where you go and buy your fresh vegetables, your rice, your beans. They don't have that. What they have is their farm. Every day they go to their farm to cut some crops where they will eat for breakfast, to cut some crops that they will eat for lunch, to cut some farm produce some yam, some plantain from the farm that they will eat for dinner. That is the way they survive in those rural areas because they are the food basket of that zoo called Nigeria. And now the cabal, their headsmen, they are now in their land. They have taken over the land. They cannot go back to buy food or to cultivate their farm to feed themselves. Do you now get it? This is what they want to do in the land of Biafra. And this is what Simon Ekpa is stopping. Make we hear this girl again. I will allow the video play this time. Make we hear this girl. Listen to her. See the passion from her voice. Very, very sad. This is very, very sad. Make her listen. Very, very. It didn't pay me too much. Listen. 
for Laura Johanna, life has become very hard since they renewed attacks on her community in Mangu local government. For a family whose major occupation is agriculture, they are now unable to feed themselves. We don't have any place to go to our farm again. We cannot go to our farms. If we go to our farms, we start chasing us with matches, with cones. We cannot do anything. For other members of similar communities, it is a tale of horror about how they lost loved ones and their livelihood. Home for other members of similar communities. It is a tale of similar horror of how they lost their loved ones and livelihood. For others from similar communities, oh my God, have mercy. For others from similar communities, like Mamago, it is a, it's the same situation they face. They tell a tale, tale means story, Tales by moonlight, story by moonlight. But this one a real story. They are telling a tale of how they have lost their loved ones. Hey! Yeme oh yeme, yeme oh yeme. In this life, you must reap what you sow. Yeme oh yeme. In this life, you must reap what you sow. That's a song of lamentation. A solemn song. A very sad song. All this while, you've been hearing me singing that song and you don't understand what I was saying in the spirit. I feel like lamenting right now, but I would beg the gods of Biafra to please allow me to remain calm. My body is shaking, my, my heart is pumping to lament in the public, but I am trying to hold it this time. I will try to hold it. It's just to let you all know what Simon Ekba has been saving us from. The havoc, the carnage, the pillage that should be happening in the land of Biafra as we speak. But Simon Ekba has been saving us. The Biafra Republic government in exile, they have been saving us. Right now, Simon has done his own part. He has assembled his government and cabinet. We made him our prime minister. He went ahead to assemble his cabinet. He has assembled his government. And together, they have come with the yearnings of the people. They came with the policy. Oh my God, have mercy. They came with this new policy for us to go out to vote for a Biafra self-referendum. My people, Simon Ekba has done his part. We were all asking, we were yearning for Biafra. Because of the killing, the pillaging, the savagery happening in the land of Biafra. We were all crying, begging God. For Biafra, even though your pastors, your so-called 419 pastors, they keep telling you to pray, but your pastors, they did nothing other than to support the politicians. All they did was praise the politicians for building them a road, for attempting to build them a road. You all know who I'm talking about. Those you call your men of God, all they did was pray. They were begging God for freedom. But at the end, they went to your politicians. Praising the people that put you in this trouble. They were saying visions. Your so-called people you call your daddy, G, your daddy GOs. They were saying visions about Nigeria getting better. But at the end, they turned around and told you to vote for those politicians that have been killing you, that have been stealing from you since 1960. 
you believe your, 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 your so-called pastors. You, you believe your men of God. Criminals and four one ers you call them men of God. Oh my God. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy. I'm, I'm holding it down. I don't want to lament today. Lord, please. Give me just today. Let me calm down and talk. Allow me to calm down and talk. You believed on your men of God since 1960 and they gave you nothing. Until our leader came, Mazin Namdekano. And he told you from the mountain top, they were coming, they were coming. He gave you a prophecy that this thing is, that is happening in Plato. He told you beforehand, they were coming, they were coming. Kabbalah, they are coming. Fulani headsmen, they are coming. Boko Haram, they are coming. Iswap, they are coming, they are coming, they are coming. And you idiots, you ingrates. The deaf, the dumb, and the blind. They called him a 419er. They called him a small boy. They called him a froster. They said he was after money. Very, very sad. Even those you claim they are part of you in that so called Nigeria, the other tribes. They were popnosing into our affairs. They were insulting our leader, Martin Nambekano. And when Buhari, that stinking dead idiot, that old fool, that told me, in fact, if I can lay my hands on that man, if I can lay my hands on that man one to one, anywhere I see him, he's going down. If I can lay my hands on that man, be it the, the, the money queen or the one when they wear mask or anybody with that face, if I can lay my hands on that man, <laughs> I swear to God, the whole world will, will watch the movie live on air. You will watch that movie live on air. Anywhere I catch that man, make him wear masks or not, it will be movie live on air. As I'm doing the movie, I would shout, Biafra Superstars Media, Biafra Superstars Media, let the whole world know, Biafra Superstars Media, I did it, I did it, Biafra, you, you will hear that voice. Just one, just, in fact, let me not go there, let me not go there, calm down. That idiot went to the la went to the home of Mazin Namdekanu to kill him. A prophet who told us they were coming in order to silence him, despite he had bail, despite he was on bail, despite he was in his house on bail. Buhari, that fool, that thinking, that criminal, he sent the Zoo military, the full and headsmen. Now you know they are full and headsmen. Now you know that the men who went to kill our leader in 2017, they were full and men dressed in military uniform. Now you know. But back then you said, oh, Nigerian military, they did very well. And the Yoruba, they were shouting, eh -heh, kill him, kill him. He, he's a stupid boy. He's a criminal. Kill him. Omoyibo, kill him and, you know, put his body. We, in fact, we, we want to see his lifeless body. Put it on TV. Put it on NTA News. They were begging the Zoo government. They were begging the military to display the lifeless body of our eternal leader, Mazen Namdekano. Yoruba, you know, if not for Koikimi Media and Chief Sunday Igboho, my language would have been different to you guys. If not for Koiki Media and Chief Sunday Igboho, my language would have been different for you guys. Because me, I have first-hand information. Actually, if there's anybody who should hate the Yoruba tribe, it should be me. Until I heard Koiki, Chief Sunday Boho, and I said, okay. So when I think about the way on social media in 2017, people were begging Nigerian military, mostly the Yorubas, with all the respect, because then they love Buhari so much. They were happy that Buhari took power over that man they call him. Good luck. 
And they were begging the military, please show us the lifeless body of Mazen Namdekano, that criminal, the Igbo man, you know, Omo Igbo, Wayo Wayo, be a fraud. They, they coined that phrase, be a fraud. All our leader did was to say, they are coming, oh, Fulani headsmen, they are coming. My people, listen, they are coming, they are coming. As a prophet, the mountaintop, they are coming, they are coming, they are coming, they are coming. He cried and cried, they are coming. And you chose to hate on him. You made it a tribe about him. Now, people in Plateau, they are crying already. Yoruba, just yesterday, now, three of your Oba, they've been killed. Oba has been killed. Do you know the meaning of that? I told you, when the cabal come, when the headsmen come for you, they will take over. In fact, they will kill the Obas. And I want to give you a message. This is a coded message to Koiki Media. Koiki, make sure this gets to Chief Sunday Boho, because what we are hearing that some of the Obas who are full and blood, the way those small boys in the military, they carried Yoruba indigenous certificates, but they came from Kaduna. There are some Obas who are Fulani in your Yoruba tribe. What they want to do now is, those ones they've killed, they will not have a, re a replacement. The Oba that have died so far, they will have a replacement. And guess what? Koiki, let Chief Sunday Boho know that the Obas that will take over them I'm telling you this, will be men with Fulani DNA. Mark by my words. That's the game they want to play. Also, when they hear another cable, 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 you, you know me, when I get the message, I come out here and say, it's a gossip. Cable, cable, cable means that gossip, but they hear. When they hear that it's a cable, 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 say, very soon, the cabal, they are angry. Not only angry, they want to make coup. But the reason why they were integrating or reintegrating, in fact, I will, I will not say reintegrating, because if you were never integrated, there is no way you'll be reintegrated. The headsmen from Mali, Mauritania, and those countries, the Fulani headsmen, when they caught those men, when they caught Boko Haram and Iswab, they integrated them into your military. Now, with the year, say there will be a military coup. And guess what? All the foot soldiers after the military coup will be full and killer headsmen. That's the way they will now take over Nigeria because once they do military coup, the full and men who are in your military, they will now give them, you know, positions all across Nigeria. And that way, by proxy, they now control Nigeria. So that was the compromise. That was the agreement, the final agreement they have reached with Boko Haram, with Iswab. That's the way they will take over Nigeria and nothing will happen. Because you will see them as military men ruling, but deep inside, they are full and killer headsmen who are ruling that so-called Nigeria. But we thank God, say, we the Bia France, we are living. So, respect to Simon Ekba, the disciple of Mazinam the Kano, who knew what the game these guys wanted to play, which who said, this year, we shall carry out a self-referendum. Respect to the dragon, Mazi, Epa, Simon and Joko, because Simon, this your action by your government, oh my God, it will protect the interests of the Biafrans. So that the moment that military could happen or, or you know happen or, if it happened, that day when they say, fellow Nigerians, but I tell I am now the new president of the zoo called Nigeria, as they are saying that one, we the Biafra, so we are declaring Biafra that same day. Let the world come down, let heaven come down. And it will be bloodbath in, in that zoo. Because what we are hearing now, we say Tinubu and all those things, they want to do a military coup to take over government, which is why they were integrating their full and killer headsmen into your military. That was the 419 from the beginning. So once they are now in the military and there is a military government, you know what, ha what happens next now. 
headsmen will now become the commissioners of different locality. They will be the ones they will send to all the southern and eastern states to protect and make sure the military rule is running very, very fine. Arrest myself. My dear friends, please, for those who have ears, let, let them hear. Go and vote. Go and vote. Make una go vote. Na beg at the beg una. Make una hear the cry from Plateau. Plateau now it becomes a case study. Last two years or last year, it was Governor Autumn. Benue State was a case study. He was crying like a baby. He was crying like a child. Saying exactly the way things were. None of you chose to listen. But now, the new case study now is Plateau. Make could not hear how these guys they are crying about what is happening in Plateau. Very, very sad. Make could not hear. Very sad. In the night, the assailant come and begin to kill our people. And that day, we lack no one to help us. With the number of communities being attacked on the increase, the nation is in for difficult times, considering that these areas produce a good chunk of agricultural produce. We wish to also call for the immediate administration of um, modalities to compensate co communities whose properties and farmlands were destroyed, thereby creating huge implications for food security and scarcity in the communities. This is because the communities attacked are one of the largest farming communities in Plateau states and Nigeria at large. You need to begin to arrest people. People are dying. Okay. Nigerians are going to go hungry because these are the people doing the farming for all, for all of us in Nigeria. Uh -huh. Calls were also made to the National Assembly to consider passing a bill to allow state policing as this will enable governors to better handle Listen, security. Hold on there, man. <laughs> That's a mistake they make every time. They are calling on governments. They are calling on politicians. They are calling for, in fact, arrest my case. From me, from here, for now, I'm going to say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. I remain Biafra Superstars Media. God bless you. Go and vote. Go and vote. Go vote. Go vote. Bye-bye. I want to use this opportunity to call on the committee for prayers for Gowon. Number one in this committee is Dominica Olewune Chinyere Apo, Lesson Nzom, Grigori Onyejuwa, Chinedu Agui, and Presence Odohunoge. This committee will be the prayer, official prayer warriors for Gowon to be alive in December. Your prayer point is to pray day and night for Gowon to be alive in December. He will be alive and witness something in December of 2024. There is no other prayer point. Mazenam Dikano is going to come out in a historic manner. We have promised Biafra that the prayers that were prayed so far is working. And for the fact that Mazenam Dikano has not given up, believe me, I know what he is made of. Our most important prayer today is for Gowan to be alive in December. Let him not die. It is very, very important so that the prophecy of our eternal leader will come to pass. He will be alive to see the